For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. A report published on March 16th has revealed that the monthly average of demolition of Palestinian houses by occupying Israeli authorities has increased by 65% in 2021 as compared to the previous year. The report, prepared by the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs in the Palestinian Territories or the OCHA, says that in the month of February alone, at least 305 Palestinians, including 172 children, lost their homes and were displaced due to demolition of homes by Israeli authorities. The report also states that in the months of January and February, the number of demolitions were the highest since 2009 when the United Nations began keeping a record of demolition of Palestinian houses. Israel has been conducting demolition drives in the West Bank and Eastern Jerusalem since occupying the areas in 1967. Israel has a control or total control over 60% of the West Bank called Area C as per the Oslo Accords of 1993-95. There are more than 300,000 Palestinians living in the Israeli controlled Area C of the West Bank. Violation of rules or lack of permit is often cited as the reason for these demolitions. However, Palestine and the United Nations have noted that Israeli authorities actually discriminate while issuing permits to Palestinians, forcing some of them to wait for years before they can build houses. Humanitarian coordinator for the occupied Palestinian territories, Lynn Hastings, has called on Israeli authorities to, I quote, immediately halt all further demolitions of Palestinian homes and possessions, allow the humanitarian community to provide shelter, food and water to this most vulnerable group and these people to remain in their homes. The report also states that in 2021, over 50% of all the targeted structures have been located in Bedouin and herding communities in Area C, up from 31% in 2020. These communities are some of the most vulnerable in the West Bank, with limited access to education and health services and to water, sanitation and electricity infrastructure. Israeli authorities also seized Palestinian lands in Area C without any prior warning or notice in over 90% of the cases. According to the report, Israeli authorities also targeted the houses donated by humanitarian organizations to the Palestinians. Such attacks too increased in the first two months of this year. On five separate occasions in February, the herding community of Hamza al bakaya in northern Jordan Valley witnessed the confiscation and demolition of 82 structures by the Israeli authorities. Nearly 80% of the targeted structures were provided as humanitarian aid and included homes, a wash that is water, sanitation, hygiene structures and livelihood structures which are valued at at least 43,000 euros. As a result of these five incidents, some 60 people, including 35 children, were displaced. Israel has carried out 93 such demolitions already this year, in comparison to a total of 157 demolitions last year. The largest incident took place at al Isawiya on 22nd February, where a residential building comprising four apartments was demolished, displacing 19 people, including 10 children. There was resistance to this demolition and a Palestinian man was injured with a rubber bullet shot by Israeli forces. Last Tuesday, Israel seized and dismantled three caravans used as shelter by the Palestinians near occupied Jerusalem. Israeli forces also took over Palestinian land in Masafariyata, south of the West Bank on Tuesday, in order to expand an Israeli settlement, the Palestinian news agency Wafa reported. The demolition of Israeli authorities is seen as a way of confiscating Palestinian land to build illegal settlements and outposts in complete violation of international laws. Thank you.